All right, learners, let's go and look today at table formatting, or in other words, inserting a table into a Word document. So I'm going to go up to the Insert tab. I'm going to go over to Table, and you can see I can insert tables in a number of different ways. If I use this method and I say, well, I want, what's that, five columns by one row or three rows, whatever it is, I can simply click on that, and there it's inserted my table, right? I can then go and delete that and I can insert it a different way um, by clicking on insert table and specifying the number of rows and columns. Also saying that my columns must have a fixed width or they must auto fit to the contents. In other words, the size of the column is going to be determined by the contents or it must auto fit it to the window. Again, whatever they ask you to do in the paper, you just need to know where to go and do it. The other way is just to draw a table. So you can see here, I can simply go and draw a table there. And that's what it's going to do. Now I can go and say, well, I want to insert um, a row. I want to split the cells. I want to split the table. You know, I've got alignment. I've got all these different things. If I want to create, you know, some sort of custom table over there. So generally what you'll be asked to do is to use one of these two methods, either you know, uh, inserting the table this way or going insert table with those specific um, instructions. So I'm just going to do a three by four table. And there you can see there's my three by four. Immediately, I've got table tools that comes up here. Please remember that relates to only this table. The minute I click away, um, that goes away as well. So I need to click on the table for these um, tabs to come up, which relate to only the table. So that's inserting a table. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to say uh, heading one, heading two, heading three. And I'm just going to put some info there. Wonderful info. <laughs> okay. And you can see when I click on that, I've got a number of formatting options that come up here as well. So I can do it over there. I can go up here and I can say, well, I want to change the shading. You can see what the shading does. It changes the background color of my table. I can also change the border styles. Okay. I can decide, you know, what I, what I want to do with this. And there you can see with this, I can go and change the individual borders on my table. Okay. I can also say, well, let's just change all the borders. And there you can see what that looks like. So I'm just showing you some of the basic formatting. Here you've got some table styles and you can see each table style has its own name. So they might ask you to change the table style to a particular one. Um, and, you know, they'll obviously give you the name and then you just click on that. So the main thing is to insert the table, you know, pop in whatever text you need to and then apply whatever shading or styles or things they want you to. You can also, um, you know, go and mess around with the alignment. Um, you can do sorting, but I'll do that in a different video. And uh, okay, this I'm going to do in another video as well. But th those are just the basic things when it comes to your uh, table formatting. Again, over here, I can change the size of the text, the type of the text, you know, make it bold, italic, underline. All the normal formatting here applies as well as what I have over here. So that's just basic formatting around a table inside Microsoft Word.